Hey guys, so should you use a simple text editor to write code or should you get yourself an IDE? An IDE is short for Integrated Development Environment and these are far more powerful, far more robust apps that are designed to make coding easy. But some people kind of like the simplicity of a simple code editor. So from my experience, I think when you're just getting started in coding, if you're learning how to code, I would just get a simple code editor like Sublime Text. If you're doing uh, PHP, JavaScript, uh, HTML, CSS, I would use Sublime Text. Uh, maybe you can use Sublime Text or Python as well, of course. Although Python, when you, when you download Python and install it, it has a built-in code editor. It's not nearly as nice as uh, Sublime Text. Let me just address something. I talked about code editor versus simple text editor. A simple text editor is like on Windows is Notepad. And on, on Mac, I think it would be a text edit, I think it is. I always mix it up. So now a simple text editor just writes text. So it doesn't have anything built in to help you to code. Whereas a simple code editor is designed, is a text editor, but it's also designed to help you write code. So it will color your code and it will give you more advanced tools that will make coding easier for you. Now, if you're first learning how to code, I would get a simple code editor at first. Now, the next step is the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. So you got the code, text editor, code editor, and the IDE. The IDE is the Integrated Development Environment, and this is uh, by far the more complex of the apps, but boy, do they save you a lot of time once you get into them. What do they do? Well, they do all the color coding and the formatting that uh, you would expect in any code editor, but IDEs take it to a whole new level, and they'll do things like code completion, where you, you start typing in uh, some code, and the ID will be able to guess what you wanted to type and a drop down list will appear and you can just select it from the drop down list. So it makes coding uh, much easier, much less mistakes because you'll be, able, you'll be selecting code from drop down list. Uh, the ID will be uh, auto completing things for you and a whole bunch of other tools and capabilities. But these capabilities come at a cost in that you're going to have to learn the IDE. So I always say, when you're first learning to code in any language, I would just use a code editor. With Python was is the exception, they have a code editor, they call it, they call it IDLE, I-D-L-E, and it's their IDE, and it's kind of a bare bones thing, but it does color coding and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool for Python, for PHP, I would use Sublime Text or Notepad++ or you're on Windows. Uh, Sublime Text works on Mac and Windows, so that's a, that's a good option for you there. So there you go. Yes, when you're first learning how to code, stick to a code editor, or you could use a, a simple text editor, although I would drop that pretty quickly because I, for reasons I just said. But once you, you're starting to get familiar with coding, you're comfortable, uh, at least with the basics of a particular coding language or a programming language that you're learning, then I would start exploring proper integrated development environments, IDEs. Now, I recommend, my top recommendation rather, and people argue this, is from a company called JetBrains. JetBrains, they got famous in the 90s for creating the best Java IDE, something called IntelliJ. It was amazing. And so since then, they've kept up their reputation and they have one for uh, PHP, it's called PHP Storm. Again, it's an amazing IDE for PHP. And they have one for Python called PyCharm, which is an amazing, from my understanding, it's an amazing IDE for Python. I haven't used Python, PyCharm, and so I, I'm not giving you a personal recommendation, but from, from when I've seen JetBrains, I used IntelliJ a lot. It was amazing, they were best of class. And I hear a PHP storm from my developers, they say it's best of class too. An amazing uh, development tool. So there you go. That's how you should look at simple code editors, well, simple text editors, simple code editors, and IDEs. I hope you find this uh, vlog useful.